G'day, you absolute legends. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Today, well, it is a short, sharp, sweet little tip, 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 tip video. I'm having some Tourette's right there. A tip video for you guys out there. New drone pilot, something that I think everybody should have in their kit. And what we're talking about, it is a tech bag. So right here, I've got a little TBS bag, but don't worry, it doesn't have to be that one. It just essentially has to be something that is gonna fulfill the same purpose, a lunchbox, another tech bag, whatever it's gonna be. But we're gonna be going through what's in mine, why it's so important, and definitely why it has saved my bacon, not only in making videos, but also uh, just getting up in the air flying and having fun. Because the last thing that you wanna do is go to the field, you're about to rip around and oh no, it's just that one thing that I'm missing. Man, why didn't I just do what Stuart suggested in this video? What is a tech bag? That is the first thing we are gonna answer. Essentially, it is a little little thing in your kit, something that you are gonna stare, spare the What is going on? I can't talk properly. You are going to store a whole bunch of little extras, little tidbits here and there that are gonna help you get back up in the field in the case that you break something, in case that you forget something or something's not working, you might need to replace something, something's flat, which is a big problem of mine, often all the time. I have a lot of flat batteries, especially regarding my cameras and that sort of stuff. But yeah, this video, we're gonna break it down and talk about the importance of it. Now, this isn't gonna be in shot entirely in the whole root cam. I'm gonna do one side, then the other, and luckily this bag, I really like this TBS one because it's broken down into two parts, which kinds of works with mine as well. So the first thing you're going to need to take out in your field, in your uh, flying case and in your tech bag, something that you have to have there is a field set of tools. Now I want to say too, this video, let me get this very clear. Yes, it's expensive to set up a tech bag and not everybody can do it. I'm asking you, you should think about this as a long-term investment that you can chip away a little by little, week after week, you might think, or maybe month after month, just buy one thing at a time, add it to the tech bag, and then eventually after uh, a little while of flying, your tech bag is gonna be spot on. It's gonna have everything that you need that's gonna save your bacon. So of course, let's have a look at the top. For the tools, of course, we've got our three hex drivers. So I've got my 1.5, my two, and my 2.5 hex drivers. Very, very common stuff. Uh, I have a little prop tool. Those are the most probably common tools you're gonna need to take out to the field, especially a prop tool. This should be your first purchase. Something that you can change your prop tools with. Uh, I prefer this driver style. Very, very easy. I've had them all. I've had wrenches. I've had, um, what do you call it? The socket spinny thing. Anyway, we've had an awful lot of this. is probably my favorite one. That one's from Race Day Quads. You can probably Google or search that as well. I'll link that in the description down below. Next to that, I've got my soldering iron, my TS100. It is possibly uh, the best soldering iron on the market. I use this quite a lot. And to be honest, I take it out of the tech bag. That's not something that I recommend doing. But uh, please get in the habit. If you do use your tools from your tech bag, make sure you put them back in. Don't just leave them out. You should probably aim to have a second set if you're really into the hobby and leave this in here. But the soldering iron, I can understand, that's expensive. You might only want to get one of those. Of course, I've just got some little uh, wire cutters and strippers and that sort of stuff. I've got my battery checker, which I use all the time. A little nice IDST one. We'll put a little link somewhere up there. Thank you very much, uh, YouTube. And then I have a, another little uh, wrench right here as well. As uh, this here is a, this, this is all stuff that I've reviewed over the course of years that has really come together. So this bag has been in the long time, in the making for a long time. We've got a little Speedy B adapter. So if I need to change anything on my phone, uh, I can simply plug that in. And whether I'm using an iPhone or whether I'm using an Android, I can use this little dongle right here to connect up uh, and change some of the parameters on a flight controller. That saved my bacon as well. Sometimes the arm switch might not be set or it's stuck in angle mode or something like that. That comes in handy. That side is all pretty self-explanatory. Now, this side right here, let's see, I wish I could, I need to get a new camera lens to zoom this out a little bit more. Now, this side right here is very personal to me, and this is where I want to say it's going to be different for everybody. When you go to the flying field, what is it that you're forgetting? What is it that stops you flying? What kind of ruins your day, or what would you wish that you had that would be able to get you flying, keep you up in the air, keep you having that awesome time? The last thing you want to do, you're out with your mates, you're having an awesome time. Oh no, I've forgotten the GoPro, or I've forgotten an antenna, or just something like that. So that's where, over time, I've been trying to think, hey, what have I always missed? What stopped me flying? What do I need to put in this kit that would save my bacon? So one of the first things I wanna mention is antennas all the time. If you, you probably have a lot of antennas, throw your spare ones in your tech bag. There's been so many times I've gone out to the field and I don't know why, maybe it's because we're changing batteries just in my situation or changing goggles, whatever it's gonna be. Um, changing goggles, I should say, yeah. It just, 
you, I run out of antennas. Man, I wish RP, SMA, SMA, it just gets very, very confusing. So I have a wide selection right here of craft antennas and also goggle antennas that I've got. That's in the top part. I'm always running out of Velcro straps. I know it sounds stupid and hey, how can you forget that? But trust me, when you break one in the field or uh, you're just kind of doing a rebuild or you're putting on a GoPro mount or something, you could be doing something on your drone. You take the Velcro strap out of the way because it's not really a big deal. It's only a couple of cents and then, oh, I'm out in the field. I've got nothing to strap my battery to the drone. That can be absolutely devastating. So I've got a bunch of different Velcro strap sizes right there. Uh, I have, for me, some GoPro mounts if you ever want to get some juicy HD footage. I have, and this part is quite important to me, I have a session that is charged up, ready to go right there. That is kind of like a, a little bit of a backup camera. And I have a spare GoPro in here as well. This is not going to be for everybody. This is my job, so I have to have a few GoPros. There's been so many times I've been in the field and things have gone flat, things have not worked, whatever. But this GoPro right here, it has a battery in it. It is charged, uh, but it is not fully pushed in, so it's not connected to anything. There is an SD card in here. It is ready to rock and roll at a moment's notice. I can, okay, this camera rig is not working. I can at least film with this. That is most important to make the videos for you. So that's right there. That's probably my number one tip, my number one thing that I need to make sure I've got in my tech bag and I'm never gonna take that out. I'm not gonna mess around with that GoPro until it is absolutely needed. And of course, whenever you use anything from in here, make sure that you replace it, you put a new one in, or you take that old one and put it back in. So I'm gonna make sure if I ever use this, I will charge that battery up again. Of course, I have a little, and things go really bad, I have a fully charged up little power bank in there as well, a bunch of USB ports. Uh, I have a couple little zip ties, some heat shrink, um, an XT60 connector, just some little wires and odds and ends as well. Uh, I have another spare GoPro battery here. Now this is of course a backup. What's most important to me? It is doing that filming. So I've got this spare GoPro battery right here. That is for my main GoPro. Uh, I've got a spare SD card as well. I recommend that for a lot of people. And overall, it's just a very important thing to have in your kit. Now look, I don't care whether you get this TBS version. I'm gonna link it down below, but I don't care whether you get this version, whether you use a shoe box, whether you use a lunch box that your mum packs your lunch in, whatever it's gonna be, just please do yourself a favor. Get yourself a little tech bag. You can Google it. Maybe you could Google camera tech bags or whatever, or if you want a TBS one, that's in here as well. Just pack it with everything that you're gonna need that's gonna save your bacon. Yes, it's gonna be a big purchase. Yes, in the long, I should say everything in here is gonna be in the big purchase. Yes, in the long run, you're probably looking at like half a drone to maybe one complete drone's worth of equipment in here, but it is so worth it in the long run. If you're an FPV pilot, you're in the hobby for a long run, just having a little bag like this that you just know stays in your backpack, let me make that important as well. Make sure this stays with your kit. Don't take it out of your bag unless you're using the tools, which I understand, but always put it back. But this thing should remain in your bag and it is gonna save your bacon and that's when it's gonna be worth it. Just buy like one hex driver a month, one GoPro battery a month or whatever it is until make a little list, work from the top to the bottom, find out what works for you, what you need, because trust me, it may sound simple, it may sound stupid, but a bag like this is worth its weight in gold. So anyway, I'd love to know what you guys think about it. What is something that I'm missing? What would you put in your tech bag? I'm kind of against going putting in like spare cameras or spare flight controllers because I don't really want to do a full repair in the field. If I have an absolute smash, well then for me, that review is over. I have other drones to fly though, so I can completely understand where other people, if you've only got one or two drones or one, one five inch drone, you've got a spare flight controller and like, okay, I'm gonna wire that in, well then, that may be an option for you. But what would you put in here? What am I forgetting? Other than that, hopefully that helps some of you newcomers, new pilots out there. Please do yourself a favor. Go get a tech bag. Other than that, subscribe for more FPV related content. And as always, happy flying.